What is going on, Pepe Army? Guys, I hope that you are excited because I have a feeling that we're about to look at a nice reversal. Now, we do have to talk and we have to have an honest conversation about where Pepe is and where it could be going. And some of the drama that's been surrounding Pepe in the last 24 hours because we've got some crypto, we've got some, let's call her an attorney because Cointelegraph said so. Uh, and by the way, if you don't know Cointelegraph, Cointelegraph is one of those bought and paid for shill services for venture capitals and for large investment places that try to move the market. They're a fake news kind of organization here, and they do enough real news to keep you kind of hooked and engaged. But, you know, if you've been in this space for any length of time, then Cointelegraph is just the flip side of Coindesk. Uh, they're both just hack organizations uh, that do what uh, VC and large capital wants done to try to sway the markets for them. So uh, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the charts. Uh, you can see it's trading at twenty thirty right now. We're looking at two different charts. We're going to look at at, at this one, uh, and we're going to look at my uh, futures trading chart because it gives me a, a kind of a better uh, opinion. I'm doing this on the day right now. Now. One of the things that you're seeing is a whole bunch of chads out here going, yeah, bro, this is exactly what uh, a bearish, uh, this is exactly what a bear, uh, this is the most bearish thing I've ever seen. Like, this is so bearish that it's like totally bearish, right? Okay, well, so it was bearish here when the same thing happened. It was bearish here when the same thing happened. It's bearish here when the same thing happened. We get that because that's exactly what you see. That's uh, that's kind of the indicators of that bearish sentiment when you get that massive wicking up. And by the way, when you look at this one, it was massive wicking up uh, and then it came back down. Then it was massive wicking up over here and it came back down. Then it was massive wicking up right here and it came back down. So, you know, we're looking at this on a bigger time frame here. But the end result here is that every single time uh, this happens, then Pepe gets faded by the people who uh, just are just seriously looking for it. Now, there, we do have to talk about some of the things and put this into context because this is a low. It went down to 1,536 yesterday uh, on my chart for the, the futures, but uh, it, it did kind of have a, have a nice little relief rally. So there's still some opportunity here, uh, but we, there is downward pressure. And I'm going to point that out, but I'm also going to show you why uh, I'm not as concerned as I could be. Now, uh, this is important right here, 106,000 holders. And we can we can rah, 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 shish, boom, bah, about the number of holders. But uh, as we go down here on Sunday, May the 7th, there were 108,000 holders. So we've lost 1,500 holders in the last couple of days. Now, um, what we saw was yesterday, it was 106,106. Today, it's 106,581. So we've added 400,000 more or 400, 400 more holders, uh, but we need an impetus to happen. And that impetus is probably going to be Coinbase. It's probably going to be Kraken. It's probably going to be Robinhood. There's, there's plenty of different places out there still wanting to get in on the action because this is one of the top 10 most traded cryptocurrencies in all of crypto. Uh, go look at the price action over here and you see right here up 15% to one billion dollars in trading volume now here is the other problem the other problem is the market cap is only 800 million but the volume is 1 billion and the price action has been in the negative that means there's a lot of profit taking and that is a signal and 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 aside from uh the 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 loss of a few holders uh this also is another indicator that we're in that bearish sort of uh pattern right now so uh and we've been there before but it needs a breakout, right? So um, that's what's going on. Now, let's look at the futures trading chart and you can see right here. Now, for the purpose of futures, I want you guys to know that uh, you can trade them on MEXE. Description's in the link down below. It's what I'm doing uh, a lot of right now. But see, you've got a, a line right down here, 1536, basically. Uh, if you get down to this area, go long basically, uh, and then take profit up here at around 2,400. I'm not sure it's going to pump to 2,400. Uh, you might want to do a little bit less uh, and play some of these wicks as they go. Uh, this is the one hour chart. Uh, and as you can see right here, uh, if it goes to 2,430, I'm not telling you that there's going to be a breakout at 2430. There's going to be a lot of resistance at 2430. That's the top of this over here. Uh, there's a lot of chop and, and trading volume right in this area. So if we go up to 2430, at least one time, we're probably going to be rejected. I don't think we get rejected down to 1536. Uh, the most likely scenario for playout is if we can move over this and then we can use this as support is a break up here. And then if we get that break up here, uh, there might be some wiggling around here, maybe even a test back down here to the top of this channel and then a breakout 
uh, above to the upside. That's the most likely way that it would play out unless we get a lot of VC money coming back in. But as you see here, there is a descending wedge. And although it looked like we could have invalidated this wedge over here when we had this dump, uh, that was a uh, that was a, some adverse market conditions, and it immediately got back into the channel. So it is respecting this channel, and I think that that's kind of an important thing. Now, come over here, and what do you see? Uh, 1430.eth, another uh, crypto guy with uh, um, a decent following is saying the same thing. Uh, Kenobi, he's saying the same thing. And speaking of Kenobi, uh, this is ridiculous, right? Um, uh, I, this, th there's this attorney yesterday that was for coin Del Tele telegraph. I think her name was clammy McDing dong. I, I have no idea who she is. Uh, but it's Irina Heaver. This is the person over here, crypto lawyer, partner at law firm, orange piling entrepreneurs, investors, and entire government since 2016. Um, I, I don't, I, I don't know this. Look, look, this is somebody who thinks that they're savvy, I want to say, or something like that. If you were affected by or concerned about the financial advice given by Irina Heaver, who was yesterday giving financial advice, telling people that they should get out of Pepe, uh, then uh, you can notify the Dubai Legal Affairs Department below. And then there is a link right here. Spotty Wi-Fi uh, gives it out, says, no worries. I just filled out this form of the Dubai Legal Affairs Department website and let them know uh, you are actively giving financial advice and also ask why I don't see you listed as a licensed attorney on their website. Thanks. Um, and then, of course, what is she doing? She's challenging. Great. So you doxed yourself. Uh, like, bitch, I don't care if you know who I am. Um, who gives a shit? Uh, it is easy to threaten people behind an NFT profile pic. Um, uh, it's easy to uh, it's easy to threaten Americans in Dubai. Duh. I mean, come on, lady. Grow up. You know what I mean? Like, this is just some ridiculous nonsense right here. Uh, and, and if you were in that uh, chat and, and and you would like to, then, then I mean, by all means, go, you know, do your thing. It's, it, it doesn't, I listened to a little bit of it and I thought that it was silly and it was nonsense and I got out uh, because I, I'm silly nonsense. I don't have time for it. But if you had time for it, then, I mean, certainly go report anybody who's giving legal advice that isn't qualified or can give legal advice or anything like that. So, you know, um, but it looks to me like she's got a lot of time on her hands. I, I don't know if she's spending her time wisely, but Hey, people do what people do. Now there is a reversal that looks like it's happening right now. So if you are, um, uh, expecting it, I don't, again, I, it has to be prefaced with, I think 24 is the local top unless we see a nice breakout. So, uh, it, it would be my advice to you if I were giving you advice and if you were doing some kind of trading, take profit at about 2,400. Uh, and if you miss a, a big moon, you miss a big moon. I, I don't think that you will. I think you'll get a rejection there. Uh, wait for the wicking at the bottom to show a reversal of trend from that 24 and then get back in and then let it ride up to the top. I think that's the best move to accumulate more Pepe and to, and to, to take advantage of it. I mean, I could be wrong. It, you know, we, it, 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 I, I could be wrong, but generally speaking, the charts are the charts and the action is the action. Pepe has been, uh, contrary to all charts and all actions for a long time time but it's starting to fall in line with with general trading structures so uh just be very careful in your in your trading and i don't want to see you lose any of your capital that you already have in take profits responsibly make sure that that you are accumulating more pepe along the way this is not financial advice my name is believes i am always right thank you so much for tuning in and we will talk to you again very Oh, another shot of the bullet uh -huh. Loaded got complex Cocking and pulling yeah. That bottleneck look like the Loch Ness What are we doing? I'm about to fall out, boy And the proof's in the pudding So can we forget about the things I said when I was drunk? Uh -huh. I ain't mean to call you that I'm ice cold like the keg The bartender tap On another level like I'm